Hello and what is up guys, Tomcat here, and today I am going to be bringing you guys a full review of a vehicle that I've actually shown you guys a couple of times here and there before, but haven't really fully given it the spotlight, and that is Red's new Bronco TTC truck that is fully prepped to basically obliterate every single rock and trail in its path. Now, we've brought these guys out here to the green hell, and we're going to go ahead and run them, see what they're like, and also see how both versions perform. We have a bogger version, and we also have an IROC version, and we're going to be running the bogger version first. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this beast up, get it out on the trails. Now, this one, as a matter of fact, I forgot to fuel up um, with the dev tools. So I'm going to pull into the uh, I'm going to pull into the fuel area like old times and fill it up that way. But before we head out down the trails, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's available for this thing in the garage. And really there's not much. There's just the TTC cage and the TTC canopy. Now, with both installed, it does look pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. I like both options, the canopy and the cage. But for this particular run, I'm definitely going to run without the canopy. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking without the canopy, but with the cage. Now, also, it's important to note that the textures on this truck are actually 4K. So, if you're wondering why, like, for example, if you were, if you were to download this truck, and it maybe took a little bit longer to load on the main menu than any of your other trucks, that's why. Um, this thing is, this thing is huge. I can't remember the size of the file uh, off the top of my head, but it's... It's a big file. It's a really big file. So, let's go ahead and get this thing ready to... Well, we're actually just about... We're past getting ready now. We're getting it down... Oh, boy! And down the trails! Come on! Well, if that's a... Uh, if that's a test as to how the bogger's do in mud, then, they're the, then there you go. They do not like high in the mud. Okay. So, even, wow, even low three, you kind of have to, like, you kind of have to ease it along, you know? You can't, you can't really just hammer it and go. Now, if you want to hammer it and go, the way to do that would be to put two out of four tires up on the edge. But, let's see if it'll make it, whoa, my god, what was that? It was almost like the, it was almost like the rear axle just... Like, I didn't realize that the rear tires were on the ground, and they were, and the front tires were not. And it basically caused me to just fly off. Come on. There we go. I almost started there. Like, I could hear the engine really dropping out on revs and, like, trying to stall, but I wasn't going to let that happen. It'll let me feather it in high until I get to some solid ground. But even then, you still have to be careful. Like, it will still stall out on you pretty pretty dang fast, actually. Oh, it's not going up that in high. There's no way. Come on. Get that back wheel out of the mud. Come on. I feel like it's super ironic that these boggers don't seem to like going fast through the mud. But, I mean, hey, you know, it's, some vehicles have odd characteristics to them. And this one is definitely no different. Now... Are there areas at, at which this thing really excels? Absolutely. One of them being the fact that it's actually, for a crawler, it's really fast. When you when you do throw it in high, it's really fast. And even faster when you throw it in automatic. Now, I don't think the automatic mode will let us stay in automatic for very long through, like, these turns. But it should be... Oh, man. Are you going to do what I think you're going to do? Oh, God. Oh, it's going to say I hate this part. Oh, my God. It's going to say I hate this part. And it's not really going to want to put all its power down along the path. And it's going to make me stay in the grass. Oh, well. I'll play its game. But that is kind of interesting that it's like, no, the path is soft. And I don't like soft ground, so I'm not doing it. And I'm like, alrighty then. If that's how we're going to play this game, alrighty then. There you go. That's half throttle. And it's fine with that so far. Oh, yep, yeah, it's fine with that. It's fine with that. That's half throttle. I literally haven't, like, modulated the throttle at all. I haven't given it more. I haven't given it less. That's just full-on half. And I don't know what... Ooh. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Jesus, dude. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
Go, 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 go. All right, first start of the obstacle course. See how we do here. I'm trying to stay out of the water because I know it's going to bog this thing down and start spinning. It's running it, though. Like, it's definitely making a good run for it. All right, back to the left. Not exactly the optimal, quote-unquote, racing line, but, you know. Ooh, boy. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Come on. All right, heading for the junkyard. The junkyard is always where it gets real. It always gets real at the junkyard. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe? Maybe? Bruh, all right. Big sad. All right, I'm gonna go left. Try to avoid the big sad. I was hoping I could kind of like blaze through here a little bit in high. Not happening. Now, to be fair, though, when you do put it in low, it crawls really well. This thing was built to be a crawler. It was built through and through to be a crawler. Now, to be fair, it was built to be an all-rounder because Top Truck Challenge is an all-round competition. And it's not just crawling. But you could definitely tell that, like, I mean, while this thing can deal with mud obstacles, it's definitely more geared to the crawling-based obstacles. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. It's all about finding the line, and then once you find it, this thing will this thing will do whatever you want. You just have to find that line first and tell it where to go. Once you tell it where to go, it's like it's it's out of there. I wonder if I can beat the uh, beat the falling bus. Can we beat the falling bus? Let's go. No, not quite. Bus fell right on us. It would be really hard to beat that fa that falling bus, though. It would be really, really, really hard. Like, you'd have to be in something extremely fast to beat it. All right, round the roller coaster. All right, the beams now. Get through the beams. Oh, wow. Gets through the beams and high, no problem. Eh, the end it had a little bit of trouble with, but no worries there. Yeeted. Big time yeeted. Oh, God. I'm half throttling it. All right, that's not bad. Okay, so it's like the mud's not too deep here. So as long as I half throttle it, it's okay. Although part of me's wondering if I'd be better off in like, well, I, part of me's wondering if I'd be better off in like low three, but then every time it finds traction and then picks up a little bit and goes, I'm like, nah, I'm good here. Get it. Up over the jump. Come on, stick with it. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. There's fourth, big yeet over the jump. Oh my god, yeah, that's like quarter throttle. Okay, yeah, no, it is not going anywhere in the mud in high. As a, and as a matter of fact, wow, these things apparently don't really like mud that much at all. I'm going to actually run the edge. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, I'm going to run the edge. It seems a lot happier about me running the edge anyway. Back into, yeah, back into low. Back into low. It's going to need it. It's really going to need it. It's very speed limited in the mud. Very speed limited. Well, wow, even on the edge here, it's like, it's like, I don't know about you. I don't know what you're trying to put me through, but I'm not having it is what it's saying. It's totally like not having what I'm putting it through. Now, to be fair, the interior view is actually really, really cool. It's really, really well done. And like everything is nicely detailed. The roll cage is nicely detailed. The pipe for the intake is nicely detailed. Fun fact, they do that so that the, so that the intake doesn't suck up water or get stuck in mud, basically. Um, or basically so that you don't suck up really any liquids that you'll find out in, you know, really the only liquids you should be finding are, I guess, water and maybe muddy water. I don't know. That was weird. I don't know why I used the term liquids instead of water, but let's finish up with the mud real quick. And then once we're done with the mud, we can go ahead and barrel up the final hill and see what she can do once she gets to the top. I always love to see how high these vehicles can jump. Like, I always love to see how high they can jump. And also, keep in mind, we have another version with a different set of tires to run as well. So we'll definitely see how that one does and see if it drives any differently. I'm very curious. So let's see if this guy can get some speed going up the final hill. It's, it's properly slow in the mud, though. And it's not, like, any fault of the vehicle. It's just, like, 
you just have, that's just the way you have to drive it. And I'm not saying the vehicle's bad because of it. I'm not blaming the vehicle for it. I'm just saying that that's how it likes to be driven. And if you don't drive it like that, it's not going to reward you with the experience you want. So let's go ahead and throw it in high. Go, 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 go. Up flat out now. Up the first hill. Landed. Get it. Get it. And boom. There she goes. Not bad. All right, so that's the Bogger version up at the top of the hill. So now we're going to swap into the IROC version. This one's going to run no canopy, no cage. So the first one was no canopy with a cage. This one's going to be no canopy, no cage. So now that we got it fueled up, let's go ahead and head out for the course. Come on. Come down. Thank you. Yeet. See how you do in the mud. Uh, about the same... No way. No way. Oh my god, no way. Are you stuck? Not anymore. Wow. What did it get stuck on? There you go. I mean, this version still has great traction, you know, when it's on dry terrain. Like, when it's going up, like logs or rocks or dirt obstacles or anything like that but like do not show it the mud because if you show it the mud it will get mad and it'll get mad real quick come on there you go all right junkyard time i'm gonna take a little bit of a different line this time I'm gonna go around the side approach carefully and then get back into the power that put me in a horrible predicament Yikes. All right, hang on. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. I think I was hanging up on the, like, on the back of the frame. I actually, I genuinely think I was hanging up on the, like, on the back, uh, like, on the rear of the frame rails. That was kind of weird. Up over the tires, up over the junk car. We're good to go there. Just a little more. Just a little more. Boom, not bad. Ah, sketch. There you go. Got it. Got it. She's good to go. Oh, boy. All right, then. Let's not... Let's not go that direction. If we could just kind of like ease our way up onto the... There we go. Oh, this part sucks. Okay. I feel like... I mean, yes, the other one did better through here. But I feel like we're also dealing with not just the fact that we ended up like... Oh, God. Not just the fact that we ended up with a, uh, like, you know, with a different tire. But we're also taking a very different line. A very different line. Oh my god. If you could just like. Go the direction I'm attempting to get you to go. That would be great. There we go. Finally. Finally. Jesus dude. This thing had a hell of a time with the junkyard. But it just goes to show how your run can change. From like one run to the next. Avoid the, uh, the, the falling bus that has, well, already fallen. Almost there. Oh, God. Holy crap. Stay down. Stay down. Don't understeer off the edge. I was really worried about understeering off the edge. I was like, there's no way. Come on. Oh, God. That, that threw me way off. The other one, I didn't throw it off that bad. I wonder if that's just... I wonder if that's just me, or if, like, the tuning on this one's a little bit different. That's weird. See how it does through this bit? Wow, it got slowed down a whole hell of a lot more. God, man, this... This is really, like, tearing this thing up. Like... The other one felt a little bit more solid, not gonna lie. 
Not gonna lie, the other one felt a little bit more solid, but then again, maybe this just isn't the optimal environment for this variant, you know? You know what I'm gonna do? Since I know exactly how it's gonna be in the freaking, uh, in the freaking mud section, I'm gonna go this way. I already know it's gonna despise the mud. Like, it's gonna straight up hate the mud, and I never really break course on this map, except for at the present moment, because honestly, I feel like there's very little to be learned from running this variant on the mud section, because on every other mud section on this map, it has literally hated it. Like, it's literally gone out of its way to tell me that it despises the mud section, at least this variant. Last bit. Boy, if I roll it over doing that, I'm gonna be mad. I'd be so mad. All right, a little bit more, a little bit more, and go, 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 final jump. Boom, okay. So, final verdict. I mean, are these things, are these things worth it? Absolutely, are they? Oh, the hood goes up. Oh, that's sick. Bro, that's, that's super sick, actually. Look at that. I, I love that. He even fully modeled the headers and everything. That's awesome. But anyways, is this truck worth it? Absolutely 100%. Um, is it, is it amazing on the rocks? Absolutely. Is it amazing in the mud? Eh, not so much. But, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on, and I'll see y'all next time.